Hello, and welcome back to the DJ Nugget and Shoop Show. This is the second episode now. I am Matthew Shoop. And I am Dayton Vandale. We're your um, hosts for today. And today with us, we have our very first guest. Elliot Soriano. What's good, everyone? Woo! We nailed that first try. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We don't even have to do a second take of this. <laughs> All right, so why don't we start with who are you? Who are you? Yeah. Um, who are you? I'm Elliot, of course. Um, I go to Garden City Collegiate um, with Matthew. Um, I used to go to school with Dayton. Um, that's pretty much it. I play guitar. I play hockey. I uh, I box. I um, I'm I'm devilishly handsome. You know. <laughs> that's pretty I'm much it. That in there. I'm, 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 uh, that in there. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's, I. Uh, that's I like when you gotta go, ladies. Yeah, for the ladies. <laughs> I like making music, and um, that's it. I'm pretty basic. I don't have friends. I'm just lonely. No, <laughs> no, I'm uh, chilling. I'm just good. <laughs> Big chilling. Big chilling. Yeah. All right. So, me and Elliot go way back. Way back. Way back to when we we're like. Eight, seven. seven, eight. What is it? Yeah. Seven? You could even Probably. say five. <laughs> yeah, five. Yeah, because kindergarten. Yeah, well, we weren't really like like friends until like uh, yeah, like till like seven, eight. Yeah, seven, because eight. We yeah, were kind of like in different classes all the way up until. Yeah, because we got like well, actually, split we were, up after like after kindergarten. We basically. were never in the same class. Actually, we've never been in the same class ever. Never. Ever period <laughs> yeah but like um, at all uh what was it back in like i think it was like starting in like grade four when i started getting into like magic and um right movie making i'd like me and matthew just talk all the time about the like mm -hmm. movies and stuff like in the in the backyard of the school i remember you made me take the magician's oath yeah yeah <laughs> in, the, <laughs> the, in the, the behind the school it was like you swear to never sh share the secrets of magic <laughs> that was funny yeah i remember we used to because we were both in like karate at that time right right we used in to spar in, in the school we'd make uh we performed once too yeah we did that in uh, front of the school didn't we like literally yeah, in front yeah. of the school it all caught a yeah i performed once in front of the school yeah we do that quite often <laughs> yeah <laughs> not as often as it was Avery I it's, guess it's been like two years well I guess yeah COVID too you yeah been having lots of um, gigs right no uh, I met Dayton what grade seven I guess right because that's, yeah. that's when you came to our school and um Wow, pretty cool. <laughs> I just kind of always used to walk around with speakers in my backpack. <laughs> Literally. I, I remember, like, at the musical, you would you brought a speaker into the dressing room so we could hear what was happening on stage. Like, you hooked yeah. into their system just <laughs> so we could hear. And I remember, it was just like this, like, box speaker. Like, it was just like a box, basically, like that. Yeah. And then you just... Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> that was good old times. Yeah. Take me back when I didn't have to worry about marks <laughs> in school. <Yeah. laughs> right. <laughs> when work was easy. Take me back to when I didn't know what a radical polynomial was. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> what is it? But, uh, I don't know. COVID's been just messing everything up. Eh? Yep. I can agree. Everything. We would have been filming Titans Inferno right now if COVID hadn't happened. We'd have been yeah. well on our way. I'd be would have been great. Rock. I would have been a vampire. <laughs> Elliot would have been a god. <laughs> is that what is that what my character is? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't sent you a lot of scripts. I just right. don't Instagram won't let me send stuff unless I send it picture by picture. Right. And like well, you I can't send, send it, it on um, Telegram. I, 
have. Really? I've been sending it on Telegram. Well, I don't it know. It never shows up. <laughs> but, like, That's I, why I just figured that. I'm pretty sure it, like, at one point it said just like, this user doesn't exist anymore. And I was like, no, yeah, because I think I deleted it. And then, um, no, I just got it again because of like okay. WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, they, like they changed their like policy or whatever. Yeah. It's like there is no more, not encryption, but like they have the ability to like, like read messages now. So oh, really? Switching to Telegram. Yeah. Telegram's like some sort of like encrypted or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah. Like encryption is like when you send a message, it goes through like a tunnel that no, like, you know, like the company who owns the site can't read it or no, like nobody can read it except for the person on the end. So it's called end to end encryption. But okay. I guess like Facebook kind of like made a hole in the tube and peeking their head in. But let's talk about Titans Inferno while we're at it. Yeah. Okay. So right. Elliot is the main character of Titans Inferno, basically. Well, there's kind of like two main characters where it's Cade and Theo are the two main characters, which Elliot plays Cade. Character, the he came up with the name himself. I did. Which, yeah. Oh, yeah. I right. asked you what your character. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. I know. It's gone through so many different changes. Like, it only for the past, past few months has it even been called Titans Inferno. It used to be Project Helios. Project Helios. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I like. I think that Titans Inferno suits it just so much better now, especially since like Helios basically has nothing to do with it anymore. <laughs> like, he's not even in it anymore. So, but yeah. But there's a lot of. We have. At least. A quarter of the episodes written. Like fully written. We're about to have half the episodes fully written, but I just need to do some changes to. Basically, the last episode came out to about 45 pages. And then so yeah. I and then so I split it in half. And so I made it into two different episodes because this is nice point where um to be continued. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a nice like to be continued point, and it's gonna be great. Leads right into the finale of it. And then I split the first episode. The first episode also came out to 45 pages, so I split that into two episodes. And so I just realized that I need to stop writing 45 minute episodes. And so, yeah, most of the, they're going to be almost done. Like, I'm trying to get them all finished soon so that once COVID is, like, gone. So, we so can are just we going to be on Netflix? I wish. We have our own Netflix, Netflix series. Hulu. So you guys got uh, anything planned going on for the summer? Well, hopefully once. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just hope that, like in manitoba it gets better because like right now it's it's getting pretty bad like we're going back to old restrictions to where the christmas where uh christmas break where it's only your household yeah yeah like before with like the play it's coming up like we're doing it next week right we're performing it and the we play were... got canceled last year right no we did it oh we just did it in september this year oh okay or last, like, oh. technically 2020, but yeah, it, it did, it got postponed, basically, so we just we rehearsed over the summer, occasionally, and then, like, over Zoom, just like this, and then in September, we actually had the show, and we were supposed to do, like, three shows, but then what happened was they told us that we could only do one show, but luckily, we were able to have, like, a small audience at that time. Yeah. Man, it must suck to not have an audience. Yeah. But it's and like I mean, the same thing with DJing and stuff. Like, you don't got an audience unless you're, like, really big on, like, social media platforms. Yeah, but... you do the online stuff. Yeah. I got, like... You could do, um, like, start doing, like, like Twitch streams. I do Twitch streams sometimes. It's just, like, I don't have a following. Yeah. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's DJ Nugget204. <laughs> we'll, we'll link this in the description. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll link his Twitch in the description. Go yeah. support him. But, go follow him. If, not, if you're watching on Spotify or any of the other pro platforms we were on, tell them about them, Matthew. Okay, so we are now on a bunch of different platforms. 
we are on Spotify. We are on iHeartRadio. We're, of course, on YouTube. We're on Amazon Music and Audible.com. We're on TuneIn. We're on pretty much anywhere where you can find your podcasts. We're on now. And so that's really exciting. And so if you're listening on those platforms, Twitch is DJ Nugget 204. <laughs> Go on. Um, go Spotify. Um, is there, like, Spotify video? Like... You know how, no, like, I'm pretty sure you have to get like premium for that. We're just audio. Mm, I think okay. you have to get like one of those like Spotify premium or plus accounts or something, right. or you have to be like um, a really big, like right. a really big right. artist to do that. Because I know like there's a few podcasts where they're on Spotify and they have video on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I don't that you can do that. that. You Anyways, guys, oh yeah, yeah. Are you guys gonna like get a job this summer or something? Yeah, I'm going to start Absolutely working. Absolutely not. <laughs> you already have a job, Dayton. No. Like, are you, aren't you still working for them? Yeah. But, like, I'm not going to be working. Yeah, that's true. I'm just kidding. Ah, that all varies. Because, like, COVID and everything, you just don't know if there's going to be much things that you, like, much performances and everything exactly i'm trying to get into like some good performances though some good bangers if you will who knows maybe some more gig logs for the channel that's been it's been a little been a, about a year and a bit since, since the gig the last last gig came log. out yeah. yeah it was about last february when the last one came out yeah I wasn't even there to record it. I just edited no. it. No. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get we got we gotta get like back together and just get a gig log out. Once COVID is over, just like go out, get a gig log. Well, I got all this I got, like I got, got all my we'll have a like, gig better... log once a week. Have a gig log once a week once COVID's done. All right. Sounds good. Got all if the COVID's new done. equipment now. It's gonna be look a lot better. A lot more professional video. Um, I'm more professional DJing. Exactly. Every, all around more professional videos. Yeah, we took two years off, started making party mixes. And then now we're back to, well, not now, but we will be back. We will be back to gig logs, I promise. I've been doing a little bit of gigs, just not worthy enough to make a gig log. Well, like last time, if you guys remember, we were... He was going to do an Earth Day gig log for that. Earth Day comes and passes. There's no gig log. <laughs> he, didn't, hey, he didn't record anything. I have like maybe a good 20 seconds of footage. <laughs> <laughs> that new YouTube shorts or whatever it is. YouTube, it's like... It's like oh yeah, those stories? Me. Yeah, it's like TikTok for YouTube, which is yeah. interesting. Or, yeah, it's like TikTok mixed with, like, stories, Instagram stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember a while ago, YouTube was really trying to push that YouTube stories thing. And I was like, they put it in, like, the worst place, too. Because when you go on YouTube, you don't see the stories. It's only when you click on a video, you go under, and you have to scroll a bunch just to see, oh, here's all the stories. Well, no, I think you if you went to the subscriptions and, like, on that top little bar where all the channels are, it'd show that, too. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, yeah kind of def- kind of flopped. Though. Yeah, it's kind of funny how like when one platform has like this really cool feature, they all, all the other platforms. All the other, yeah. Like Instagram still stories even from Snapchat too. Like Snapchat. Oh really? The original. Yeah, with the filters. Filters and and, and stories. Facebook hopped on. Yeah, I um I applied at Shapes, and uh, like I talked to the manager, and she said that um. That like the hiring manager is coming in tomorrow, so she'll probably take a look at my resume tomorrow. And they're hiring two people, like they're looking for two people. So hopefully I get it. It's about time. Hopefully, yeah. I've applied at like like not ten places already. I haven't gotten anything back, but hopefully this is the one. Hopefully, what yeah. do you what would you like be doing? Um, well, like logging people in, so like people come to oh. the front take their numbers and everything probably have to like uh like write down like some data stuff like for the for the gym and like sanitize the machines and everything after every like 
booked slot. That's what I'm assuming, of course. And then um, probably that's it. Like probably like not a, like a very difficult job, but I mean like no first job is a very difficult job or yeah. like a very like complicated job. Just hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably have to sit there for a couple of like, uh, obviously like a, quite a few hours and just like take people in. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's whatever getting some money it's a job yeah it's a job but hopefully as soon as covid's over we're going to be right back at it with all these new short films that i've been writing over quarantine and all this especially titans inferno Mm -hmm. that's gonna be coming soon as soon as we can and it's gonna be great It's, it's really ambitious but we're i think we can pull it off i think like covid's kind of like a blessing in disguise almost if you take it as yeah well. like like you could see it as like um like a time to get like really down because you can't see your friends and everything but it's also like an opportunity to like to grow a lot like because yeah like, and there's nothing going on this gives you time like to, to like master whatever you're good at obviously like you kind of like you burn some of that time because you don't think like that because i just started thinking like not philosophically but like kind of deeper into the meaning of things it's like yeah. wow like like I, this was like we were given lots of time in the time like from from march when we went under to this year i could have like started a business or something like i could have started something like big you yeah. know and it's like it's like we get a second try at this so it's like maybe maybe like this one i'm trying to get a job or something like i'm just trying to like figure something out something i can like grind and pick away at until like everything goes back to normal i'm really good at this now so yeah. I like even like for sports like training I'm like training like like hockey I got cut from GC like this year that's why I'm spending like this year training and mentally preparing for tryouts next year so I can be ready for for to make the team I could be ready to to play there or like you know with guitar I could like practice lots of guitar over the summer or like beat making I can make make a beat every couple of days or something you know like just master something. yeah it's a it's, uh, you know, like how, how you got to like just be optimistic in times like these and just, you know, see the, the best in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing is that Elliot is going to be working on the score and the soundtrack for oh, Titans yeah. Inferno too. <laughs> we just got to like, we got to do one of these Zoom calls one day where it's just going to be, we'll work on like a, a the main theme song. I think that's like yeah. the most important thing that we could like make yeah. and like that's like universal but also definitely get like william for some some of that too he's yeah been, like he's been really like working away at like um like making music as well more so than me probably he's been playing around like with synths and stuff so oh cool yeah i'll definitely talk to him about that yeah i was gonna talk to him i was actually as i was talking about it, i was like i remember that you know mm. should talk to him for that too Mm. yeah there's definitely a few to come on the podcast yeah yeah that's what we were talking about before you uh came into the meeting we were just talking about that that'd be a good one maybe maybe the next one will do that whenever the know. next one will be you'll, you'll you'll find out you'll find out <laughs> the next episode and then and we drop next episode are you recording yeah. this on zoom yeah it's being recorded on zoom oh, okay yeah, there's it's like a built-in function. Yeah, I see and, it. I see it here. Yeah, just because like the little thing popped up in the corner there. No <laughs> recording button. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool how that is. I didn't have to get like a screen recorder or whatever it is. Yeah, well, which like, I, don't I guess know if like that they built work. this in because like like uh, like teachers will be like recording um recording their classes and stuff. Yeah. They probably also made it for like, because like Zoom just used to be for like businesses and everything, right? Where yeah, they'd have yeah. like conferences and everything. Conference. It was probably just like record it for people who couldn't yeah. be at the conference and have to watch it later or something like that. Um, you guys, what do you guys like want to be when you grow up? Like when you get out of school? Well, I mean, cover this last episode, but like, oh, obviously, like <laughs> I want to be a filmmaker and director and writer and everything right, right. and Dayton. Um, I want to be a disc jockey, <laughs> and I want to be a radio host. 
the new face of uh, Virgin Radio. What's up? <laughs> Uh, no, I mean voice, no. not face. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till like we're like all in our thirties or whatever, and we turn on the radio and we hear Dayton like as yeah. the host. Right, like that's gonna be awesome. TV like, and then I see directed by Matthew. <laughs> or we listen to the next new big album that came out, and we hear produced by Elliot Soriano. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when I'm older, I'm I want to be a doctor for um like as my job. Okay, so when we're 30, we know where to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I'll be your guy. <laughs> Friend discount or what? Yeah, well, I don't know if that's <laughs> legal, but... <laughs> <laughs> you don't, we don't even have to go in. Just come to us, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just come in your wambulance. <laughs> I'll, bring the, I'll bring the whole x-ray machine in, the, in my car. Hey. <laughs> Just put it in the back in the trunk. Instead of a subwoofer, it's going to be an x-ray. You know what a so? Pardon? You know what a so? So, like, hand D- so? Yeah. Like stitch? Uh, like, yeah. kind of, I guess. Why? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we needed to know. Being a creator sounds kind of like, not difficult, but like, definitely like a hassle just to get something up. If there's like yeah. yeah, like logos and stuff and like um like copyright. It's it's seems annoying, but again I see the purpose behind it because imagine being like a YouTube I mean a like a music creator and it's your song and somebody puts it up and like treats it like treats it like it's theirs. Yeah. What the heck? Like I want my money because I worked on that. That's my art. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you guys heard of like NFTs? Yeah, what's up yeah. with that? I keep trying to like um, figure out what that is, and it, it just sounds. I know like very little, but basically NFT stands for like non fungible token. So basically, like you go online to different like artists or whatever, and you buy their art, and like with that art, you get a token, which basically is like a verification of that art that it's the actual copy of it. So now, like you own this piece of art. So it's kind of like virtual art trading. And so now like you can like, you know, like because something is rare, like the value will like jack up, right? Because of like Mm -hmm. supply and demand, obviously and everything. So somebody will want this piece of art and they'll see more value in it than the actual value was. So they'll buy it for even more. And this price just keeps going up on this piece of art. So like even like, even um, like lots of people have been starting to make like trading items. So like, there's like this one called NBA Top Shop, which is like uh, like basketball cards, but they're like video clips of like different moments. So it's like LeBron James uh, finals, you know, tie breaking slam dunk. Mm-hmm. Like that'd be like super rare, and like um, you know, the value on this token or you know, like the code that verifies this moment or this picture is like the value is like super high so that's basically what a non-fungible token is it's just art online that's the cool thing about like this is like you could just make like something like not crappy but like really cool like with kind of something kind of simple Mm. but i guess that's kind of what art is it's like art is or like beauty is in the eye of the beholder so like however you see it somebody might have spent like five seconds throwing something at something like you could yeah. somebody else sees the value in that i don't know well it's i mean like, it's like, like uh, it's like the european small food on the plate yeah <laughs> who wants to eat that <laughs> um i was gonna say something before and i forgot that happens a lot to yeah. me i always think of stuff that's why i have my notepad down here now so i can start writing stuff down that i remember that i think of during like mid-conversation but I haven't wrote anything down. We should do song of the week. Yes, let's do that. That'd be good. What song of the week? Like what's your song. What's the song? Of this? What's your favorite song of the week? Yeah, like current right now. All right. Like, what's your favorite song right now? Song of the week. <laughs> uh, Matthew, you want to go first? Sure. Um, my song of the week is. Shadows by the Chromatics. Mm. It's really good. It's from the 
soundtrack of Twin Peaks season three, Twin Peaks The Return. It's the, I think it's the end of the second episode. So like every episode would end basically with like a performance um, at the Roadhouse, which is like a location in the show. And they would, it would end with like a performance. Then it would have like the title sequence, like the credits over it and everything. And it was, I really liked how like it always ended with like back at the Roadhouse and everything. But yeah, this is from like the end of the first episode at the end of the second episode. And I think that it's the best out of the entire season because it just like the best new song made for it or made with it. I really like it. It has this really cool like vibe to it that reminds me of like the original series, but kind of like an updated version. Okay, Dayton, what you got for song of the week? Mine is DG, DJ, uh, DGAF by Cole and uh, DJ Zach Daniels. Mm. It's been it's been like that since it came out. It was <laughs> number one song. That's a great song. How long has that been? Right? Um, a couple months. I want to say since like February. Or... I, I like that one. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I've been listening to lots of like old school rap. So I guess like a good one is like "All Eyes on Me" by Tupac. All eyes yes. on. Yes. Yeah, or like uh, "Ambitions of a Rider." All stuff like that, you know. I've been listening to lots of music like that. I uh, I made an attempt. Do you guys know the album "Everywhere at the End of Time"? Yes. I got through three and a half hours of that. I uh, I took the time to listen to it because it's like, I don't know. It's 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 um. I haven't finished it. Obviously, I got mm-hmm. to the point because it's kind of like it's about dementia, right? Yeah. So it's it's like, um, you know, everything is normal and the first because it's also split up into different um like what is it called um what well it's six albums that they released yeah, it's basically and then they six album, them. Hour, yeah but it's like um what is it called six um stages right of like basically of like the, this disease getting worse and worse so it's like the first it's like it's it's fine but you know you're noticing little things like little glitches in the music you're listening to little like warps you can hear it starts it slowly deteriorates it's sad but it's 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 interesting how the brain kind of just like destroys itself like that yeah and um to the point where basically like like dead but you're alive still yeah (laughs) yeah um definitely uh, i gotta finish it though i like the like the first song i like like how it's like um like this ballroom kind of sound like jazz kind of yeah i like them that type of it's kind of like um i don't know like 1940s kind of vibe um there's definitely a scene in um titans inferno where there's a uh little scene where your character actually he puts on a old record onto this old gramophone and it plays i have a record through. player Oh, but not, not a gramophone, though. Yeah, I got a gramophone. I started getting, like, started collecting records and stuff. Oh, Bob Marley. Yes, yeah. Bob Marley. My parents got me this one. But I got a bunch. Like, not a bunch, but there's some more I'd like to get. I have, like, 200 of them. Not a Bob Marley, but, like, records. Yeah, I'd like to get, like, a nice record player, too. Like, a, I just have, like, the suitcase one, but mm-hmm. whatever. Still plays the music. Maybe connect it to, like, a speaker. So it sounds better. Well, yeah. I love so, how records are making a comeback. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that's awesome. I want to get some, like, some jazz records. That'd be kind of cool. Hold on. I like jazz. You like jazz? I like jazz. You like jazz? <laughs> I like jazz. Um, it's like this, there's this one song in the new Amsterdam. You like, you know that show? Um, it's just like a song. It's like like a Russian kind of like drum drum jazz solo, and I I really like that. Amsterdam, New Amsterdam is a pretty good show. I'd recommend it for sure. It's on Netflix. Yes, let's do that too. Let's do. We got a weekly song. Let's do like a weekly show movie slash. That's what I was thinking. All right. I got um, I got New Amsterdam. All right. Say something that I've just seen this week. It's been for a while, but I will always recommend Twin Peaks. It is amazing. Watch the series and then watch the movie. 
I still have these on my desk from last time we recorded, but I got uh, watch this. If you have Crave, you can watch them on Crave. And I think that the movie is actually on uh, Netflix now, Netflix Canada. And yeah, but also I recommend getting the box set and getting the Criterion Collection Blu-ray because they're both awesome and there's so much like bonus features and everything. I uh, I think like my like my teachers forgot that they gave me the Criterion password. I've just been watching a bunch of like movies that you can't find on Netflix and stuff. Just oh really? Criterion, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Elliot. I thought you were playing with a piece of cheese at first. Yeah, I like playing <laughs> with cheese. <laughs> Not sticky notes like cheese. <laughs> if you guys can't see, if you're not watching on YouTube, Elliot's playing with like a sticky note pad right now, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. Like cheese. <laughs> I keep forgetting that we have to like, yeah, describe yeah. things to people who are listening on like Spotify or something. Um, which Matthew, take your way. Again. We are on Spotify. Reminding you guys, follow us on Spotify. Follow us on iHeartRadio. Like subscribe on everything. Um. Amazon Music, Audible, tune in, uh, subscribe on YouTube, like on YouTube, share, share the podcast with everybody you know, please. Please, I need please. to feed my children. <laughs> you have children? Please. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Hold I have on. multiple. We need, to, we need to talk about this first. <laughs> uh, yeah, but just share that's, with everybody you know. That's another episode and a half right there. The, the other episode is, is the talking about the children. Yeah, my children. Yeah, which you will find on the Patreon. <laughs> At the $25 tier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my learners. Hey, me too. I, I don't, but <laughs> I got to, yeah, I got to wait till I'm we'll 16 to take a, the knowledge uh, test. We'll give you a, a blue piece of paper. paper. Yeah, awesome. This is your name on it. I got like it's literally what she says. I got like my account ready and everything, but like oh, yeah, yeah, you just need don't to go have an update. Yeah, it's because you have to wait till you're 16 to do knowledge test. If you didn't do driver's ed, and I could, I, I, there was no like spots open in driver's ed, so yeah, I have to wait till I'm 16. Oh, so you're just gonna take the knowledge test? You're not gonna yeah. do driver's ed? No. Oh, okay. I was going to, but like it would conflict with like everything else that i had going on yeah yeah at the moment like it was like it was going on the production and the mentorship program like it just conflicted with everything honestly like they should kind of make driver Z not yeah kind of mandatory (laughs) because like i don't know if you kind of just take the knowledge test without like um actually no i'm lying (laughs) driver Z's kind of dumb like like it's like it kind of you kind of just it's stuff that like like if they just give you like the um, the website stuff because there's a website where we have to do all of our homework on. If they yeah. just give you that, there's no point in doing like class time, because like in class time is basically just going over what your homework was, which is and just stuff in the book. Yeah, but it's stuff that you can all get by yourself. Yeah, kind of eliminates the purpose of a teacher. And you buy the book for five bucks and the course is fifty dollars, but that also includes seven in car lessons. Wait, wait like the the driver's handbook? Mm-hmm. Like a hard copy you have to pay for? Because No. Like, the you know, the hard copy is only five dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the, the online one is just free, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Driving, who'd ever think to let me on the road? <laughs> I'm driving the Jeep. What are you driving, Dayton? Uh, driving a Ford Fusion. It's pretty sick. It has purple LEDs in it. Sick. It's my dad's Jeep. So my dad, my dad wants to like, like uh, what's it called? mod his mod mod the Jeep and everything, like aesthetic mod and everything. Wants to put a sub in there. Oh, nice. Be bumping music for a while. So, Matthew, what are you driving? <laughs> when you Nothing do get yet. the worms. Which was the car that didn't... Which was the car that had a name at your mom's house? One, yeah, one of them had a... Oh. A name. It was one red. One of them had a name. I don't remember. It was red, I remember. Red? I think. Hmm. 
Remember your like your old like your mom's old house? Yeah. I remember just going there once. <laughs> the like the one out in St. Andrews, like Birds Hill? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you get that to was... pass by Skinners together. Yeah, that was a fun drive every day. <laughs> it would be like five by the time we got home sometimes on some days. Like Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> Working down to five. I'm sorry, likes that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad we can't play copyrighted music on here. Because, yeah, like, background. Yeah. We'll start an acapella group. Yes. Over Zoom. An acapella group over Zoom. Yeah, what should our name be? The Zoom Acapella 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's very creative. It sounds like you're trying to do pitch perfect three. <laughs> this this is the is the third one. You guys missed the first two movies. Yeah. The first two groups. Now, now you first get the third group. We don't count the first two groups. I am recording um what's it called? You know the movie called A Bronx Tale? Yes. Have yep. you watched it? Um I don't know if I've ever finished it, but that's it's definitely still on my watch list. Yeah, I uh, I watched like I guess somebody like uploaded the whole movie to YouTube. Oh, that's so it was funny. like it was like um it was like the whole movie but cut into like seven minute clips. So it was up mm. there for quite a few days. Like it was standing there, and um, and I got taken down. I got through like oh. three, a quarter of the movie. It was uh so but it's on TV though. It's being I'm recording it. It's gonna be on like May third or something. But. Oh. It's, I don't know, I like it. I like, like, gangster movies. There's a good movie on... Oh, well, we're going to talk about gangster movies. I got a great recommendation. Mm. Um, it's called Once Upon a Time in America. Okay. It's it's four hours long, but it's amazing. That's it's really time. good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, like, it's... Anything. Oh, it's it's a gorgeously shot movie. Like, it's... Uh, it was Sergio Leone's last movie. He's the guy who made, like, Good and Bad and the Ugly and you know, fistful of dollars, right? Like all those. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it's crazy. It's like this, in, this guy's entire life. And it's just, have you, uh, have you guys seen Mortal Kombat? No. no. Have you like the movie? Um, I watched a bit of it because my parents rented it and they wanted to watch it. But um, I don't know. To me, it kind of looks kind of cheesy, but I don't know. As long as like they have, Sub Zero, just like yeah. fatal, like just as long as they have oh, fatalities yeah. and Sub Zero, I'll watch it. <laughs> I um, like. That's all I'm there for. Have you guys played any of the games? No, I have before. I don't remember where, but I know that I have before. It was probably at like a friend's or something. Yeah, no, me back in like middle school, me and Logan would like, well, watch like fatality compilations from, <laughs> uh. Mortal Kombat, so crazy, like gory, like fatalities in the game. My favorite one is the spine rip. Oh yeah, you know, like who is that? Who um, I think it's like I can't remember who it was. Something Cage, Nick? No, not Nicholas Cage. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Cage. Johnny Cat? No, it's Johnny Cage. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, like rip somebody's spine out and like puts his hand in behind and then like rips it open, rips open their like their middle part here and he's like, "Here's Johnny." <laughs> uh, that's funny. Have you guys seen uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier yet? Uh no, I have yet to watch that. I saw that's it on really Disney, good. Though. I gotta watch it. Yeah, it's really good. Also, One Division Two. That yeah, was good I have too. To watch that too. Yeah, there's so much stuff coming out. Like it's just, even though it's COVID, and not a lot of stuff's being filmed. It's still going to be like a great year for movies and TV. Yeah, like yeah. With except for like, if, except for like, um, theater movies that you have to like pay extra for. For yeah, anything. well, there's like that big controversy with um, what Warner Brothers made the decision to do was that all their movies are just going to go. They're good. They're still going to play in theaters, but the, on the same day they're going to be on H HBO Max. 
And there's a lot of directors and actors and everyone and producers who are really like mad about that because like they weren't consulted about it mm-hmm. at all. They just were just kind of like, no, we're just going to put it all on HBO Max. And then, which I mean, it's still going to be, it's not going to be like free on HBO Max. Like it's going to be yeah. like one of those, like you have to pay for it still, like 30 bucks or whatever. So yeah. like, I don't think it's going to hurt the box office at all, but yeah. Well, if it's, if you get to pay like $30, you might as well just buy it on thing. Yeah. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter at that point. Yeah. But there's, especially with Dune, I'm really excited for. Dune, what's up? Um, it's a sci-fi movie. It's based off of a book from the 60s called Dune. And it's, I've been meaning to read Dune, actually. I've heard it's, like, really good. It it influenced a lot of science fiction that came after, like, Star Wars, too. <laughs> yeah. There's, like, there's six original books. I think it's, like, it's, like, Dune... Dune Messiah, Children of Dune. Then it like skips like 10,000 years or something, like crazy Holy amount crap. of time. And then it's like God Emperor of Dune, then Heretics of Dune. And then it skips like 15,000 years. And then it's like um, <laughs> Chapter House Dune. And then there was like a big cliffhanger because the author died. Wow. And there was something where it's like his son came back and like finished all the books, but then some people don't like the books because it's not the original. I don't know. But the movie looks cool. But the movie's only adapting like the first half of the book. Cause it's like, it's like an 800 page book. And so they're only adapting the first half. How many pages is this one? <laughs> Tom Clancy. Uh, it is, this one is 738. It's a pretty long book then. Yeah. Like, you know, like the other version of this book where it's like cut in half. It's like a really small. Like that's the, mm-hmm. I couldn't read that. It's too small. Yeah, I got so many books I got to read. I uh, I did this for thing for an English project, but then I kind of just start like like I made a like a safe. Oh, I cool! You can like hide stuff in here. You won't know. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you guys again for listening, and this has been the DJ Nugget and Shoop Show with Matthew Shoop, Dayton Vandale. And Elliot Soriano. Elliot, thank you so much for coming on and truly blessed having you. Thanks for having me. That was awesome. Hopefully okay. See, hopefully see you on a next episode or a different episode. Yeah. Upcoming. Yeah, we definitely got to have sure. you back on sometime. For sure. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. Peace.